podcasts are interesting because they do create this kind of intimacy with people that I don't know that you can really get with like radio because on radio it's like you're trying to appeal to the broadest audience and you can't I guess people talk I guess like you know uh what's his name that guy you make fun of so well Lycus that's an he was more of a podcast than anything because he pump it and dump it don't waste more than 30 bucks buying a chick dinner (laughs) Here's what you do. If you like a chick, you get a number, you call her up, and you say, hey, sweetheart, Mm. what are you going to be doing after dinner? Mm. That way you save $30. Mm, Yeah. Hey, listen, ladies, ladies. Listen, men, if you like a chick, don't let her drink beer or wine. Hard liquor only. Mm, Yeah. It's a rape tip, number one. Yeah. Take me out with a bong hit, would you, Tom? That's how you don't hang up on people. Take me out with a flush. Take oh, me out God. with a shotgun blast. So like, but you know, it's what a, a door. I know. But you know, and when you come across a follower of Tom Likas, that's where things get real. My brother's friends like Tom Likas. Yeah. His, his, someone told me about like, he's got this thing with the Tabasco. You look up Likas 101 online. He has that thing where he has the girls, the guys carry Tabasco in their pocket so that they can put some of that in the used condom when they leave the chick's house so that she doesn't flip herself upside yeah. down and empty the contents of his used condom mm. into her. Is that turning you on? No. Into her. Mm. Why are you making that noise? I'm just kidding. It's not turning. It's disgusting. It's stupid. Like a woman wants to have his disgusting baby it seems so like bad. A, it seems like a fat man's idea of how women function. He's gross. He's like one of those guys who's got like He's really fat. That's not bad. I'm, really I'm sorry fake to, confident fat, and then like yellow bad. teeth and a yellow personality. His personality is uh, yellowed. His personality is like yellowed teeth. But he does. He gets this really serious tone in his voice when he's talking to people. Oh, Andy's like 300 pounds. Like he can't yeah. even walk. They just wheel him up to a mic. Trust me. That's the way it oh, is. Oh. It's the way it works. You want to know the truth? Here's the truth. That bitch is going to take everything from you and leave you with nothing. You're a brainwashed Just like they did idiot. me because I'm a dick. Just like they did me in the playground when they left me sitting in the sandbox and played while I watched mournfully, plotting my revenge. So he's like a nerd, you think? Take me out. Well, I mean, that's the problem is like, He's, I don't know, no, I wouldn't call him a nerd. I think he's got a, he's a, there's a name for what he was or is. I don't know where he is now, but it's called apologetics. Do you know what that is? Mm-mm. It's like a, this. it's like argue, arguing at the, at a skilled level. Like, it's like. Apologetics? Apologetics is a form of like, like, Christ, it's like getting really good at arguing. So when someone engages. Are you sure it's not apoplectics? I've never heard that before. Epileptics? Are you sure it's not um, apo- apologetics? I could be wrong. Look at, I mean, I hope I'm right, but I think it's called apologetics. Uh, but yeah, so he's really good at arguing. So people would like, he created a situation where people would uh, call him. <coughs> he created such a polarizing environment <coughs> that people would call him up with clearly different opinions of what he was saying. And getting like arguments with his ridiculous ideas and they're ridiculous. But so when you're like getting in an argument with someone who already has ridiculous ideas, you're kind of not going to win anyway because it's ridiculous. It's it's an absurd concept that's basically split human beings into men and women and made women into this kind of mutated form of helpless life and men, this kind of beleaguered i guess uh manipulated idiots who are being like constantly taken advantage of it's a really spooky story it's almost like women are like one step above zombies they're like witches hiding in the bars waiting for you to come out so they can talk to you get some free drinks like like how i mean i know they're out there but i really do wonder do women want free drinks that bad that they're going to engage in a conversation with tom fucking Lycus?